I have to admit, I'm frustrated by the kind of question I hear frequently, do you believe in climate change? It's not really a question of belief, uh, like it may be if someone's asking me about my religion. Uh, it's really a scientific question, and we have a very robust scientific record that has assessed past climate change and has informed our uh, understanding of potential climate change in the future. And so part of the challenge in trying to mobilize efforts uh, to implement climate policy uh, lies in our ability to communicate uh, the best science uh, to the general public so they can understand what uh, the benefits would be of a climate change policy. Uh, in addition to the need to communicate on the science, I think we need to do a more effective job communicating uh, the economic impacts of climate policy. When one looks at uh, uh, what a reasonable climate change policy would do, say, in the United States, it would have a very modest impact on the average American household. A variety of analyses undertaken over the past few years suggest something on the order of maybe $100 per year cost. But in addition to that, and what's important for the policy debate, is that you have a small number of industries that are very concentrated that would bear a more substantial cost. And they've been effective in lobbying efforts against uh, implementing climate change policy. So I think there's a lot of value in trying to improve our ability to communicate on the economics of climate policy to build a broader support among the American public. And finally, I would note uh, that I think there is a potential opportunity in the context of the current discussions about long-term fiscal and tax reform to actually marry uh, climate policy with tax policy. Uh, there's clearly a need to both simplify the tax code. There's some who have talked about the need to raise revenues uh, through the tax code while simplifying other elements of it. And whether it's a carbon tax or a cap and trade program that auctions off emission allowances, one could raise revenues uh, through a climate policy uh, that can enable uh, the lowering of rates on payrolls or the rates of tax on income. Uh, so I think there's a, the potential opportunity here uh, that one could try to tap in this fiscal and tax debate uh, to advance our interests on climate policy.